First of all, I want to say thank you to the Golf Channel for allowing me to share some ideas about the game we love. My name is Charlie Sorrell. I'm a PGA Master Professional. I am the Director of Instruction at Crystal Lake Golf and Country Club in Hampton, Georgia. During the winter, I teach at the PGA Golf Club in Port St. Lucie, Florida. I want to divide this time into two segments. Two unique teaching devices that I developed. One called a Sorrell Color Dot Ball. The other is called the Door to Success. The reason we talk about Sorrell Color Dot Ball, we love to teach in rhymes and we're going to throw a lot of those out to you. But if you don't know what makes the ball go left and right, up and down, you're going to have a hard time making an adjustment in your swing when you're out on the golf course playing. So let's go through the Sorrell Color Dot Ball. As you can see, this is a unique ball. It has four color dots and a black stripe. But what are these color dots for? These color dots de only designate your club path, the forward direction of your club path, not club face. So let's sit this down where I can show you that. And we love to do this in rhymes because you can remember. Remember, these rhymes give you a mental cue that'll help you to remember things easier, nothing technical at all. So we would say, our club face should always be to the target when we strike the ball. We all know that. But in the Sorrell color dot, we say if you swing it toward the brown, you've got to hook it to make it come around. If you swing it toward the blue, your beginning flight is going to be pleasing to you. If you swing it toward the black, your club face can be square at first contact. Now be careful with this one. This is the white. If you swing it toward the white, your ball will always go to the right. Remember we said faces toward the target? Wow. Clockwise spin going to the right. And everybody loves this one. If you swing toward the red, you're chopping and you're dead. If you swing it toward the red, boom, you're dead. You want to play golf from the brown to the blue to the black. That has only to do with club path. I promise you that can change your life. Now let's go to the door to success. This item we've been very successful with over the years. We all talk about swing plane. We hear swing plane all the time. Well, a plane is a flat surface that has three or more non-collinear points. Ooh, for the math students, they love that. Geometry, geometry. In order to be on plane, you should have the club head and the shaft on the door. Not here, not there. But once you get it on this door, then you can swing it down. Wow, it comes right into the ball. One of our favorite rhymes says, if you're not on the correct plane, they'll never know your name. So you never want to be here. That's red dot. That's red dot. You never want to be here. Wow, that's <laughs> you're really going toward first base dugout. On plane, down the line. On plane, down the line. Once you can create that as a player, the four greatest words in golf are if and it depends. When you get at this segment, if the face is looking to the target when you hit it and you got the club on plane, I can assure you the ball will go nice and straight. Greatest understanding, the flight of the golf ball never lies. It's going to tell you the circumstances and condition of this club when it strikes it. So all I want you to learn to stand doing Swing it down, swing it down. You ask, well, what angle is this at? Basically, it's at the angle relative to my elbow when I'm in the downswing position. See how my elbow is much more in line here? And I'm going to get that club to the door. Boom. There's four parts to the golf swing. You know what they are. Backswing, downswing, forward swing, up and around swing. At the end of the downswing, irregardless of how you get there, you can do a lot of stuff here. You can do a lot of stuff in here, but you got to get to this door. You got to get it on plane. You got to get the club there from this position, down, down, and then I'm going to scrape it. And when I scrape on the plane, we know they're there. See, the, the purpose of this door is where you can feel the motion of the swing. That's what this door is for. We all know about swing. We've seen the lines. Everybody talks about swing plane, but can you do it? Can you feel it? That's really important. So once I get it on the door to here, all I'm going to do is swing it forward. And let's see how it works. We got it on plane. We know we got it on plane because it's on the door. So we're coming from here, down the door, and strike the ball. See how that ball drew back a little bit? Wow. 
Wouldn't you like to have that in your golf swing? Remember, if you're not on the correct plane, they'll never know your name. Number two, it helps you with your backswing. We want you to swing the club somewhat in line with this door. Not really outside, not really inside, just simply on line. It gives you a reference that's really important. Third segment, everybody wants distance, lag. What is it? How do we achieve it? And why is it important? Lag is simply a measured element from the shaft to the left arm at the end of the downswing. This is no lag, this is throwing. Lag, again, how near this shaft is to your right shoulder has a great deal to do with how successful you will be as far as distance. You are actually getting it here. Look where my hips are aligned. And now I can turn and just sling. Remember, the whole club head and shaft is on the door. This, not this, not there, this. Now you can just sling it. Once you can time it from this position, remember, the door has to do with feel. It puts you in a position where you can't be wrong. It gets you from here to there. That's very important for you to understand as a player. The greater the lag, the less club you need to hit it to the flag. We're talking about club head speed now. Those guys that hit a seven iron 160, I guarantee you they got lag. Those that hit it seven iron 180, they got more lag, big time stuff. So remember, lag is very important. I wanna leave you with two thoughts. If you can't feel it, you can't do it. That's what this door is for. It allows you the feel for this. Number two, if a picture is worth a thousand words, the feeling is worth a million. See, that's all about feel. It's all about what you do as a player. My concluding thought would be, if you can't make it rhyme, get it out of your mind. It's too complicated. I love simple stuff. Remember that thought. If you can't make it rhyme, get it out of your mind.